Hello, everybody. Oh, bad timing. <laughs> AC just turned on. AC just turned on. We're it is day, day two. two. I think we got to go to the side door. Almost 8.30, so we got about an hour and a half. And then uh, today it ends at four instead of five, so we're ready, ready to rumble. Yeah, we got some new stuff with us too. Yeah, we brought a few different boxes for pre-price stuff, so we're gonna get all that set up. But we're going in, going through the side. It's like being back home. <laughs> so where are we at again, I forgot. Um, take a right up here and then we're right there. Let's see if our boxes are still here. Right <laughs> they didn't magically disappear. Yeah, right. I think we're good. Should we do some hunting today? What do you think? Yeah, I think we should do some hunting today. Well, a lot Today's of the, the day for deals, right? Oh. Look, our tape's still good. Haha, <laughs> no one's no uh -huh. one took nothing. <laughs> I didn't think anybody would, but that's just me kind of being extra precautious. Oh yeah. But I'm just gonna put these in here. I'll get everything out of the car and uh, we'll just set it up and hang out. Getting the wall all set up. We got all the books out. I'm trying to figure out where to put this box and then the cards, but we're working on it. Yeah, I got a bunch of slabs here we're putting on the wall. Some fun stuff. The Secret Wars. Got the stuff from the trade yesterday, which is really awesome with clay. That's what the wall is looking like today. Got a lot of Spider-Man. Something's killing the children. Some variants. I'm gonna go walk around a little bit, see what everybody else is doing. All right. You good? I'm good. I don't see it with these glasses. Fancy glasses, huh? What are you looking at? The glare on the back? Yeah, do you see glare? I see the books really well. We'll look it through through here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a whole row of Spideys. I asked, you're going to gonna be the third person I asked. Full row of Spideys or just do Spidey to the middle, Spidey in the bottom, and then Batman, Batman. So full row. Spidey Batman or full row? I'll do a full row. Okay, everybody's doing that. So. I'm still in shock that this, this one's worth so much. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it went up to like 6,500. For a shocker, for a rhino. 46. <laughs> Most of the books, I buy them already slab. I just buy them at a good time. And then I do send some in. Alright, so I have one of these. I have this too. 62, 76. Let's do a Batman one. Here we go. An easy part. It's funny though, because you, you have modern stuff, but you didn't bring any with you, right? I did. Not I want to put it on this side. I got oh. tons of modern stuff. There's some newer stuff. Like stuff like this. You don't have a bunch of variants. I do in that box. In that box, there's a few of them. I just. I don't know. Those are cool. I don't know much about them, to, to be honest, so I don't put them up. Maybe if I put them up, I'll sell them. Because people don't like digging. I noticed that, too. The, the wall books were selling pretty good for me yesterday. Oh, yeah. But if you, like, leave them in the box, they might not sell. The people just don't like digging through boxes. And it's ridiculous because all I have there is keys. More keys. And I was doing deals like crazy yesterday. Like, people would be like... I had a book for 40 bucks, like, you take 20, be like, how about 30? Like, 25, fine, whatever, you know? That's All awesome, you gotta man. do is dig. Yeah. Get a pile uh, of stuff together, that's the way to do it. <laughs> exactly. What are you putting in your personal collection right now? Just more Batman? Um, well, so those three Batmans are personal collection. That's for some collection, but everything has a price. It doesn't matter, right? So I just bring it. I've decided that myself too. I got a couple books I'm selling that I've yeah. been holding on to for a while. That and if someone wants to give me the right price, I'll sell them. <laughs> That's a personal collection. Oh, I remember that from the video, the YouTube yeah. video. Yeah. How much is a four or five? Four well, one? at one point it was fifty k. Right now it's maybe thirty. This is for sale today. Uh, I love that black bolt cover. I love personal collection. Ooh, there you go. That's a cool one. Yeah. The 9-8. Yeah. But I bring this in case somebody shows up with a big book they want to trade. So I can... I just couldn't bring everything. A bit of a closer look at anything. Just let me know. We'll get it down. You can take a closer look. Absolutely. Thank you so much. But you got some great will. stuff up here. Thank you very much. 90% of this stuff is comic sanctum, sir. Charlie sides with Comic Sanctum right there. Of course, sir. Which, what can we show which you? Which printing is this on the uh, trade? 
Transformers Which 1? Which printing on the Transformers 1? Charlie, I think that's the first print on Transformers 1. Yeah, that oh, are the newsstands all first prints? Oh, I didn't know that. Greg only went to see second They are always first. Yeah, this is a cool one. Yep. And that right behind it was the uh, Ultimate Invasion number one. It's a John Tyler Christopher uh, negative space variant. Yeah, it's a beautiful cover. I noticed you had another negative space up here somewhere too. Oh, we've got a few. There's the uh, Avengers yeah, the right here with the Vision. And then uh, the Blade, which just came out really well. But my favorite has got to be the Moon Knight with the Werewolf by Night on it. That's a sick set right there. Both of these were restored. I had the color touch removed. Oh, really? Yep, I sure did. How did you do that? Um, sent them to CCS and um, let them remove the restoration. That's the restoration here. This one I knew came back about what I was expecting, half a point less. But this one right here, I knew all the restoration here, but I didn't catch the small spots on the side, which got me a little more because this should have been a 6 0. Wow, I never realized that's what they do, though. So they like scratch. Oh, yeah, they, they chew it out and get all the restoration out. But this was a purple label. This was a purple label 7 up. They did a decent job. I'm not going to complain. They don't butcher it. I mean, they do what, need, what needed to be done. It's definitely a lot better in a blue label, though, than a purple label. Absolutely. I'll sell it 10 times before I sell one purple. You just picked those up? Yeah. You're on the hunt for the Golden Age. Well, I'm going to that. I'm going to uh, Ofcon uh, next weekend. And uh, I want. I, it's not necessarily that you want to bust it in the seams, but you want to have. You want to. You want your booth to be like. Oh man. So you're like focusing mainly on your booth being Golden Age. Like that's the stuff you want to well, sell. Come here. If you can, I want this. This this side right here to be nothing but Golden Age. Reason being, everybody got a superhero. If you have this, if you have this glam, like super. I mean, Golden Age stuff. You already got an edge because you different from everybody else. And that's what you want. That's a sick one. What are you asking for this? 35. Sarah would kill me. Can't find it. I love that cover though. I don't know what it is. A three? They asking 4,900. Showing him the, the new process we can do. Here's the paper rust foxing. And of course, I had to take the book apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that just gives you an idea how bad the inside so the inside of the book is like this Jam right the outside, the outside is horrendous so I, I can show you the outside just real quick see you see the outside yeah yeah, yeah. That's it, it almost looks like a, a freckled disease yeah, yeah, yeah right and that's a problem with a lot of books these days because of the way they were stored right and look even on the color there yeah now after three hours process of what we did now mind you no chemicals at all yeah all right this is how the book came out. That's clean. Okay, no chemicals. No chemicals. Yeah. Three hour process. Look at that. That's clean. I need you. That's to do very clean. Right. Okay. I need your love on this book. Oh, sure. Dead shot. This thing tells some kid had it because he like put his homework on it. Yeah, he put his homework okay. and pen and then this. And then what's funny is in the back of this, uh -huh. I've never seen that before. It's a that's Ghost Rider one. That's the the first and appearance of. Isn't that the first appearance? Tim Holt is the yeah. first Ghost Rider. This is the first Ghost Rider yeah. in its own run. Yeah. And, and it's very it's very considered very that's racist because of that's the uh, so American it's Indian three hour stuff. Now, in let me show you the inside. That's it's a tough book to find. <laughs> Somebody put that in there. What's up? I don't know if you can get it off. If not, it's on the inside cover. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? But, yeah, I need you to clean up. You see the pen where he drew and pen. That, that might be tough. I know. So and, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. But that might, I might be able to do something about that area. Yeah, and then he got, like, he drew, like, smoke coming out of the, okay. and the eye, the eye there, the eye there, this, whatever you can do. Okay. I mean, I may not even grade it. It's just for me. Yeah, anyway. for you. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's a tough book. That's not fixed as well. Well, it's tough. Even with that, I mean. It's, a, it's just a tough book it's overall. A, it's yeah. it's, it's pre-code. It's... It's, it's what year is that? 50. Yeah, it's probably 53, 54. Um, we have the second wave of Ghost Rider if you're interested. Oh, yeah, those we, I got, he's probably got those too, but 1950. Yeah, finding that is tough. Yeah. Yeah, even in low condition. Yeah, a couple. And even in low condition, it's a $500 book. Yeah. Ghost Rider, the I think that's like yeah, see, that's the different Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah that see, one. That's the Golden Age. Originally, it was Ghost. It was it was a cowboy Ghost Rider. It's like Tim. Oh, it's like Tim Paul, eleven or fourteen. Yeah. And what happened was like Shazam. They didn't renew their they didn't renew their copyright on the Ghost Rider, so Marvel bought it. 
and then they changed oh, Ghost. Yeah, yeah. So like, like, was that like a uh, fa uh, faucet lost the Shazam? Yeah. They lost Ghost Rider. So then Marvel bought Ghost Rider, and when Marvel bought Ghost Rider, they turned it into the, the motorcycle one. But then they brought back Knight Rider, and that's what yeah. he is. He's Knight Rider. Oh, yeah, he's Marvel. called Knight Rider. And Marvel yeah. is Knight Rider. Pricing some books up. Yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of slabs. Oh, you just bought those? Yeah. Someone just brought these in. A dealer to dealer, so. Yeah, one of the great parts about setting up at a convention is you really do get some good choices of stuff when you get here early to pick from, you know? Yeah. These are cool books. First Plat. Love that one. Marauders. First full appearance. Devil Dinosaur. Oh, this is a cool little lot of books. I think you get the last one. <laughs> the Care Bear, yeah. That you don't see often. It's rare. Yeah. Star Comics on the 25th anniversary cover. That's cool too. First full appearance of uh, Phantom X, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Reborn, a Domino. I got an autograph Bernie. Oh, that's a cool one. These are lower end, but I had the box here. And then I got some mags, all monster mags. Oh, yeah, those creepy mags are cool. Yeah. Nice lot of stuff. Wall we got the Aquaman is cool. First appearance of Ocean Master. Some really nice spawns in here. Great little spawn box. I gotta get away from this though before I spend my money. <laughs> and we're back at our booth. Hello there. How's it going? I'm flipping these cards around because half of them were facing one way and the other ones were facing the other way. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we sell any of those. Yeah. If we sell one, it. though, it's a success. Yeah, right? First Iron Man. Whoa, 9-6. Nice. Nice. First appearance of the Punisher. Which one do you think is worth more, if you had to if take a guess? They're both about the same. Yeah. Same. This right here, though. I mean, I don't know. Probably this one has a little bit more upside right now because of him being on the Daredevil show. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Checking out what everybody's got. Oh, yeah. Down Artist Alley. Yeah. Oh, these are Pretty cool. Pretty much cuts. everything you see on the tumblers was my original artwork. Uh, everything yeah. at one point was a painting, yeah. like these guys behind me. And I take high quality photos, turn them into tumblers, bookmarks, stickers, all the good stuff. Oh, so you started all on, is that just like a canvas back yep. there? Yeah, it's can original canvas painting. And then I take high quality photos, toss them into Photoshop, yeah, yeah, yeah. tweak the colors and all that good stuff. And then I turn it into a tumbler like this. That's awesome. And then I hand make the tumblers myself as well. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. That's sick. Yeah, I started that earlier uh, earlier this year. Uh, the prints weren't doing well. A lot of people didn't have room for them or whatever. Uh, so I decided to try something new and do tumblers because you can get the awesome artwork and you can still have an awesome uh, cup to use. I love that yeah. Hellboy. I just realized that's Hellboy. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Very yeah, cool. Some were, you know, small mini canvases. I, well, I call them mini canvases, but they were eight by tens. Other ones are big pieces like this. Some were 30 inches by 40 inches. Uh, I've been doing this 10 years now, so I have like 10 years worth of artwork to go through. And uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what I have available. That's sick. Very cool. These are all your books right here? Yeah. But what made you want to start making your own comic? I went to the Cambridge School, and just ever since then, just love to tell stories. These are all your covers? That's my cover, yes. That's my art. It's a Steve Rude cover. And then the, uh, the Dan Wallace cover as well. This one's really cool. I like that one. You got Conan, that's sick. Yeah, I love it. And the style of, yeah, the style of Arnold. <laughs> Of Some prints. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, Some Red Sonia, Conan. Oh, that Joker uh, print is sick. Don't get it's a beautiful Wonder Woman. Oh, thanks. And then L's are the portraits at the end. So L's there. Hi, how did you do that? Is that like pencil or? Yeah, that's, that's pencils. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's crazy good. 
How long have you been drawing for? Um, got serious maybe three or four years ago. You just got to color like several of the covers that I've drawn up for Dynamite and for IBW. She got to do the colors on those. So she did a great job with those. What do these go for? Like what do you sell these? Like a piece like um, those this Those usually go for between 120 and 140 a piece. These are really nice. This Wolverine is sick. What do you sell your pieces for? Like, what would something like this go for? Um, that might go for like 150. Uh, whereas the color ones might go 200, 250. Are these the pages out of this book? All right, I guess sure. Very cool. I'm the artist on the book. Recently, since there's so much Star Wars, it used to be that Lucasfilm just bought up everything. So there was never really any pages, paintings, things like that you could actually buy. But now since there's so much of it, they're like, you know what, forget it. Just go do, if you don't hear from us in six months, feel free to sell what you got. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that, that they would usually buy a lot of it. Yeah, they everything. I mean, movie posters. That's why you don't really see Star Wars merchandise, artwork-wise, in the available. Some of them, unfortunately, had to be scanned and sent to the inker, so I wasn't able to get them inked on the page. And that's why you see that. How long does a, a page usually take? I know they're all probably different. Um, but. Yeah, on an average, like a day. If you can do a page a day, you're, you're doing all right in the business. You can sustain yourself. How long have you been doing comics for? 25 years. What was your first comic you ever did, your first cover? Um, well, the first one I ever did was something for Caliber called Paradigm. My first, I guess, big company was DC uh, Green Lantern. Did Buffy the Vampire Slayer for almost 10 years. Oh, really? Serenity or Firefly. What run is this from, though? This that, is... He had his own title back in 2000. Hey, that is, that is the old school 17 one. issues. What would a page like that go for? I mean, well, it really depends on the character, to be honest with you. It's, I, I have it for 500 but that's sick. the character himself isn't like in that popular stance. I mean, people like him, yeah, but he's not popular like Deadpool is popular or another X-Men Wolverine or something like that. So it all depends on the character. Do you have a character that's your favorite? Um, to draw or just when I was growing up reading comics and doing all that? Both. Uh, I love the Fantastic Four growing up. To draw? Um, I gotta say, Mandalorian's easy. Man, just because he wears a helmet, it's like, man, this is it. I don't have to draw facial expressions or anything. When he's mad, it's the same thing. When he's happy, it's the same thing. So That's very true, right? <laughs> it's like with Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally. Well, with Spider-Man, you can manipulate his eyes to affect his mood. Mandalorian is just straight. You're looking at him. I have to do angles to make it seem like, oh, maybe he's a little more intimidating. So get an undershot looking up or something. Info on what's speaks. coming up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, have a great day, man. You too. Thanks. How's it going? Chilling. Sell anything yet? Nope. It started, right? Yeah. What happened to our guy over here? Oh, apparently um, Tom called him and I guess he like sold out his booth or something, so he's not coming back today. So he told the toy people they could like move their stuff over there. Oh, he sold everything. Oh, that's cool for him though. Yeah, good for him, right? So yeah, I've been chilling. I had to chug my coffee because there was a leak at the bottom and it started getting crazy, so I just chugged it. Because I was alone, I couldn't go to the trash can. So Sarah's gonna have to pee in T minus yeah, three minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like I realized I was like, oh my god, it's leaking from the bottom. So then I had no other choice but to completely chug it. So yeah, I'm feeling a little little buzzed, a little jittery. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? Just hang out though, sit in the booth and yeah. see what people are picking up. Everyone that keeps coming up, I tell them that I need to get rid of stuff. Um, I don't want to take it home, so that'll give them a good deal. But no one wants it. You guys have to comment down below too and let us know what you think of the conventions. Yeah. If you've ever set up at one or if you would want to set up at one. What would you bring? How would you price your books? Let me know down below. Yeah, it's definitely a, a fun process. A lot of yeah. work though, getting everything together. Especially, I tell you, it took me about a month to get everything we have together and I feel like we have like nothing. I yeah, know. I feel like I there's like this people, little yeah. compared to a lot of other people. But I'm happy with our booth. We did really good yesterday. So today really isn't a lot of pressure yeah, to uh kind of chilling. Yeah, we did really good yesterday. So thank you guys once again for coming by the booth. We'll see what people buy today.